If you have the question why the topology is important, you will get your answer in this video. Here I have added a simple plane. You can go with the grid also. Just add a simple plane and add a bunch of loop cuts along the x and y axis. After that, you need to use your knife tool and create a cut like this. Then you need to select the faces and then delete them. Then select this word and then merge on this word. And then dissolve this edge and then add new edge at there. Then select the words and then connect them with the connect vertex pair. Now we have redirected our edge flow. Now just use the knife tool and try to create the loop structure around that cut. Then select these words and then connect them. Use the knife tool and redirect your edge flow by creating cut like this. Then select these words and then connect them. Now you can see that looks really well. Now duplicate this object and here I am going to create a second scenario. Now just you need to take the symmetry in the opposite direction. You don't want to create a loop structure on it. Then dissolve this H. Here you need to add the loop cuts manually to maintain the form. We are not going to create any loop structure at here. We are just adding supportive loop cuts. Just add one more loop cut at here. And then you can take the symmetry. Okay, that looks really well. Here also take the symmetry. Now just add the supportive loop cuts from the outer side, outer border to maintain the form of the model. Now just come to the first scenario and add a sub D modifier and the simple deform modifier and just try to bend it into the 180 degree. Just add an empty and select that empty in the simple deform modifier origin option and choose the Z axis then rotate this object into the 90 degree in this way. You can increase the bending angle at there and then shade smooth it. We are getting good results at there. Shift D to duplicate that empty and use that empty for the second scenario. Then add a simple deform modifier, choose that empty in the origin option and then rotate it into the 90 degree. Here you should give 180 degree angle in both the objects. And you can see we are not facing any difficulty, we are getting good results. Just select both the objects and then extrude them and just add a thickness little bit. Still we are getting good result. Now just take your subd modifier at the bottom of the simple deform modifier and you can see we are getting small pinching in the corner. Repeat the same step in the second scenario. And here we are getting the harder edges which destroy the cylindrical form, that curve form. And this thing happens just because of their topologies, the difference in their topologies. So that's why the topology matters a lot. Now I'm going to apply the subd modifier on both the objects. So just apply it. And you can see the difference in their topologies. In the first scenario, I'm getting that evenly spread topology, but small pinching at the corner. In the second scenario, I'm getting those edge loops which goes across the model. And these edge loops creates those harder edges. So that's why you should use the topology as per your need, as per the design. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.